Hi, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to share a couple neat dreams that I had. Um, this picture represents the place that God is preparing for us in heaven. And each person is unique and special. <clears throat> and God knows that. And this particular room was for someone who just appreciated clean, open, spacious places. It, you know, there were wooden floors and rugs and lamps. And I just thought it was special that God knows each person. And this particular person, he was preparing some place that looked like this for them. And then there were a few other women that God was creating miles and miles of open space farmland for and also an area for cooking and I just thought that was really neat that God knows everyone so individually and their personal tastes and that he's preparing a place for us and in my dream I saw a man that looked like this which I believe represented Jesus and he was walking around in the mountains and it was apparent that some people thought he was kind of crazy and we know that they did as in Mark 3 20 to 21 and some versions say his family thought he was out of his mind but in this dream um, Jesus had a chair that represented the throne that was shiny like silver and gold representing his holiness and his purity but it was sitting on a hammock which represented his peace and his comfort and he's slow to anger abounding in love and just that he trusted the father um, just kind of that that feeling of a hammock and then I moved on to another dream, and there was a tree on fire, and we know God spoke through a burning bush um, to Moses, but the tree represented a family tree, and we know that some in our families on, are on fire for the Lord, but there are other others in our family trees that may be on their way to hell. Some are trying to put out the Holy Spirit's fire, and some are trying to save people from the fire of hell, and some of us are putting out fire after fire, in spiritual warfare through prayer. There are also many people who are falling asleep. Some people have fallen asleep spiritually. Several of us in the next part of my dream were driving along in a truck. We were singing and making music, I believe, to the Lord. One person fell asleep and fell out of the truck, perhaps because she had been drinking too much. We stopped to check on her and to try to bring her back to the truck. Do you know Jesus? Are you on fire for him? Or have you fallen asleep? The Holy Spirit's fire is amazing. Let us be full of him. The first step is to receive Jesus as your Savior by believing he paid for your sins with his death on the cross. We are sealed by his Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. So I also had a dream about a bunch of people complaining. Everything was too small or too dark or something. So I pulled out several kinds of candy and opened a Skittles bag. I started with yellow and said, I am thankful for the sun. It is bright and it is cheerful. It gives us warmth and light. And on a good hot day, we can go for a swim. Then I pulled out a green skittle, and I said, I am thankful for the grass. It is a great place for children to run around and play. Amen. Let us always be thankful, brothers and sisters. There's always, always, always something to be thankful for. Thank you, Jesus. So one more dream to share. I dreamt that there were several people dressed in fancy garb fancy outfits like this for like a play and I too was dressed in a fancy outfit but I was standing kind of to the side I guess we are all um, daughters and sons of a king um, who know those of us who know Jesus as our Lord and Savior he is our father God and so we were dressed fancy and we started to recite our lines I believe everybody has a part everybody has a role to play and a part to play so the particular group standing in line over here, they skipped right past my part. And I knew that there would be repercussions for that. The Lord hears me. He hears my voice. He hears your voice. Um, if you feel like you're someone who's being overlooked and not being heard, God hears your voice. He still hears your voice. You are a daughter or a son of the King of Kings. You are dressed in his fancy outfit, I guess you could say. <laughs>
And so he will see that all of his children get justice and get justice quickly. Um, This verse in Isaiah was fascinating as I was meditating on it. The Lord is displeased with injustice, but he is appalled when no one does anything about it. So entrust yourself to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, who loves you like no one else can. Praise the Lord. Amen.